Hey farmers, what's going on? Welcome back to another hated video. This is going to be the part one of my spending diamonds series videos. And today we're going to be talking about the very first way to spend your diamonds in the game, which are the machine slots or the projection slots. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to do is I'm just going to harvest my crops. As you can see, I've got some sesame and rice over here. So let's just harvest them and let's see what do we get from here. All right, here we go. And this is an X, which is cool. And a saw. Wow, that's a very cool combination, an X and a saw. So I'm just going to plant some carrots because I'm kind of low on them. So here we go. Um, Let's plant some corn. Okay, and we're just going to be planting some wheat right here. Let's have a look at my customers. No, no X is Mike. No. So the derby is going to start in almost... 24 minutes. It's going to be the mystery derby and I'm pretty excited. So that's why there's nothing so much going on right now. Everybody is just preparing for the derby. And since it's mystery derby, you basically don't know what are you going to do. Oh, wait, that's crazy. My, oh, uh, that's insane. My peanut bushes are dead. So I'm just going to mm, plant some and ask for help. All right, here we go. And I think that's it for the moment. So, coming to the main topic of this video, the production slots are the machine slots. So, first thing, what are the production slots? So, the production slots are the boxes of the machine. For example, when you tap on the machine, oh, my game just reloaded. It's crazy. All right, so I'm just going to wait till it goes back, and we're going to get started. I'm also going to be expanding the slots on my baby farms, because on this farm, actually, I have already opened all the slots, but I'm going to be talking everything in detail. So once you tap on a machine, here you can see on the first page at the left side, you can see these are all the products that you can make. And at the bottom right side, there are these boxes. So every machine in the game can have a maximum of nine slots. So these boxes are actually called as the machine slots or the projection slots. So what are their role in the game? Well, basically they're used to make products. So let's say I want to make some cornbread. I will just put that in the box and in 25 minutes, it's going to get ready. And um, if I want to make more or I'm going, I'm just going to be putting more like this. So I can put like a total of nine cornbreads in the machine. So when you fun first unlock a machine in the game, it only has two slots. And then you have to spend diamonds to open all the slots. So at first, a machine takes six diamonds, then nine diamonds, then 12, 15. And I think it goes up to 24, maybe, till the ninth one. Yeah, so there's like a difference of three diamonds. So these are all my machines and luckily I have finally opened all the machine slots of my, all the machines in the game. So for example, you can see all my machines have nine slots. I'm actually very happy. This was one of my goals that I've also completed. And you guys know that I always try to focus on the gold and my smelters as well. You can see all of them have nine slots and it's very cool. I did purchase diamonds this year. So like, that's why I did. But if you don't, don't worry, you just keep playing your game. You will get diamonds and then you can start working on your slots gradually. Now, I'm just going to be talking about all the machines and what are their roles and which machine is important to open the slots off. So when you first enter into the game, you will be getting a lot of the machines. Actually, we have a lot of machines in the game now, but you don't have to open all their slots. You don't. Take it slowly. Take your time. Focus on the most important thing. Focus on two to three machines. So let's say your sugar mill is a very important machine in the game since it makes sugar which is a raw material that used to make other products in the game. So this should be your first priority. Always focus on your sugar mill. The second machine that you should focus on is your dairy since it makes dairy, which is also a raw product and it gets used literally a lot. And when you open all the slots, you will get a lot of benefits when you become a high level player, when you have more things to do. For example, I'm doing a truck task uh, or I'm just playing the truck event. I send crazy amount of trucks and my bar and stuff goes low real quick and then I have to make more products over the night or let's say I'm just not playing the game so what I can do I can actually fill up my machines that's what I do when I'm going to bed when I'm not playing the game when I know that I'm going on vacations or I'm just like having my college projects stuff like that I'm just not into the game I can actually make a lot of products I can just fill up my machines like this and then I can come back after two to three days and boom everything will be ready in your machines and all you have to do is just to collect them so I think opening the machine slots is the very effective and probably the best way that you can spend your diamonds on so literally even everybody anybody asks me hey um sam where can i spend my diamonds do you know i would say focus on the machine slots but don't open all of them if you have anything else to do you can but oh um your priority should be 
the important machines. Like I said, the sugar mill, the dairy, and also the feed mill is also important, but you can manage. Then I would say go towards the bakery since this machine makes a lot of the products, so you can open this too. Then for the popcorn part, the pie events, these machines actually make a lot of the products. So in this way, I would say these are important too, but these machines come second. The first machines are always going to be the sugar mill, the dairy, the feed mill. And when you become a high level player, you can also start focusing on the sauce maker. This machine is also very very important and then gradually goes toward the machines that are not important. So the machines that are not important would be the jam maker is not important because jams take ages, like they take hours, eight hours, seven hours, so you can literally even have three slots, that's completely fine. Same goes with the jeweler, you don't have to open all the slots, three to four would be completely fine. So um, ever till level 100, when I was in the game, I actually never purchased diamonds. So my strategy was that at least every machine should have five slots. So that's what I did. All of my machines had almost five slots, except sugar mill, the sauce maker, the dairy, and the feed mill. These machines I really focused on from the very beginning, and then I opened up all the slots. Now, I can understand if you are not the person who purchases diamonds, um, since now there are also not a lot of ways to get diamonds in the game, but like if you play all the events, you do all the chores on your farm, you still can get diamonds. So that's why I say spend your diamonds wisely on the machine slots, because every machine has a different role in the game. Also, you don't have to open the slots of the coffee kiosk, because this machine is kind of hard in the beginning, and like all the products needs dairy, so you don't have to do this too. For the pasta maker, you can, then for the ice cream maker, you can do literally all the machines are actually good to open the slots, but focus on the machines that are important. And like I said, this is the best way you can spend your diamonds on. Since you're a low level player, please don't spend your diamonds on the decorations. I know the decorations are cool, but if you think wisely, decorations are not gonna do anything. The slots will give you so many benefits. You can make so many products, you can complete your derby tasks faster. If you're not in the game, you're gone somewhere for like two to three days, you'll be able to make more products, um, and you get a lot of XP once you collect the product. So there's so many benefits of actually opening the machine slots. Now, one thing that really bugs me, that makes me mad, is that how some people don't open their machine slots. I'm not trying to offend them. Uh, see, I know everybody has a different style, but that thing really bugs me. I've seen so many high-level players literally over level 200, and they don't open the slots. They just keep saving diamonds. Dude, I don't understand one thing. What is the purpose of saving the diamonds? Use them. Like, ever since I was a low-level player, I never tried to save my diamonds. Um, I was like, you know what? I have to spend them. Once I got 20 diamonds, I would just go ahead and open one slot. I would just go ahead and open one slot, and that's how I kept going on. And literally... All the work that I did in the past of opening the slots that gives me benefits now. So that was all about the machine slots and I said that this is the best way you can spend your diamonds on and please make sure you do this too. Don't spend them on decorations if you're a level player. Well, if you purchase diamonds, that's another thing you can, but if you don't, then spend your diamonds wisely. So what I'm going to do now is I'm just going to jump to my baby farms, and we're going to be opening a bunch of slots there. So I'm going to see, uh, show you guys how you can do that. So the smelters are also not that important, and you don't really have to open all the slots. So four to five would be fine. The three machines that are important are the sugar mill, the dairy, and your sauce maker, and also your feed mill. So yeah, let's just go to my baby farm. Alright guys, so I'm on my level 42 farm, so this is the farm where I don't uh, buy diamonds, so all the diamonds that I currently have are what I've gotten free from the game. Now, the one thing is that I, I actually don't play these farms as main farm, I kind of use them as a provider farm. So, I'm just going to be spending a bunch of diamonds on the machine slots, I'm going to show you guys. So, if you have a look at my sugar mill, you can see I have almost 6 slots here, and, and by the way, I forgot to tell you guys, you can also get extra slots uh, from your farm pass, but you, you'll have to purchase that too. So, you come over here to my loom, you can see we've got five slots. For the singing machine, I don't really open a lot. For the jam maker, I also got five because I make a lot of jams. For the juice maker, I also make a lot of juices, so that's the reason I've got five slots here. Now, you can see I've got 34 diamonds. I'm gonna have to spend them very wisely. So, um... I can literally spend, let me have a look at the dairy. I'm sure my dairy is expanded. So yeah, you can see, even on level 42, even without purchasing the diamonds, I have actually opened all the slots of my dairy, and I think that's really cool. So for the honey maker, you don't have to. That's very useless at the low levels. So what I'm going to do, I'm just going to be opening the one slot of my sugar mill. 
So there we go. Now I have got almost seven slots and I need to do two more. So how you can open the slot? Well, you just have to tap on the machine and you will see that plus button. You just have to tap on that and then you can just tap that again and your slot will be expended. Now I've got 16 diamonds and I can actually spend them, but you know what, I don't want to because I think I already have enough, plus I don't even use them. I can if I want, let's just open one slot for the bakery because I also make a lot of bread and it also gets used a lot. So you can see this is how I spend my diamonds. Choose wisely. At the end of the day, it all depends on you. As I said, spending diamonds is completely your own choice and it depends on your playing style. It depends on what machines are you using most of the time and what products do you actually need. So this farm is done and let's go to my other farm and see if I can spend some diamonds on the machine slots there. This is my level 55 farm and I've got almost 61 diamonds here and I'm just going to be spending a few. I'm going to show you guys my machines at this level. So you can see my sugar mill, boom, fully expended. That's a very good thing. My dairy fully expended and I just keep making dairy products because they're very important. And you can see my sauce maker is also fully expended and because I literally make sauce, the soy sauce all the time so that I can use it on my main farm. Now, I'm just going to have to choose wisely which machine should I focus on. So, you know what? Here, I'm just going to spend my diamonds on the barbecue grill and the juice maker because I use these machines a lot to make roasted tomatoes. So, we're just going to open one slot there. And boom, there we go. Let's make more items. That's going to be freaking awesome. Let's make these and you can see all my other machines have almost uh, four to five slots. You can see my pie slots. I don't need to make any more. My popcorn pot has almost four slots and I don't really need any more. My loom has five, so that'll work. The sewing machine has four. Ice cream maker has three. That works too. You can see I fully mastered it just by three slots. Um, and these machines I basically never use, so like I haven't expended them. So yeah, that was all about the production slots. At the end of the day, Spending diamonds is your choice, but my work was to guide you guys, to give you some tips so that you can spend your diamonds wisely, because I've seen so many low-level players literally wasting your diamonds. And the fun fact is that it takes almost 4,200 diamonds to open all the slots of your farm machines, and that's a crazy amount of diamonds. It literally cost me 20,000 Pakistani money if I have to purchase over 5,000, uh, 4,000 diamonds. It's crazy. But you can get it from the game. Enjoy this video. If you have any more questions related to the machine slots, you can ask me in the comments. Make sure to like this video and subscribe to my channel for more Haiti Roots coming. Thank you so much for watching. Have a great day. Bye.